Hello and welcome to Power Analytics. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a report and dashboard in Power BI service. You will connect to data, create a report and a dashboard and ask questions about your data. Here's an example dashboard. In Power BI service, you can accomplish many different tasks and this video can help you get started. So the next steps which we are going to cover in this video are sign in to your Power BI online account or sign up if you don't have an account yet. There are many YouTube videos for creating a work account. You can create one and use it for sign up for Power BI online account. Then open Power BI service. Add and view data in reading or editing mode. Use data to create visualizations and save designs as a report. Then create a dashboard by pinning tiles from the report. Then add other visualizations to a dashboard with Q&A natural language tool. And then finally resize, rearrange and edit details for the tiles on the dashboard. So without further ado, let's get started. Often when you want to create a Power BI report, you start in Power BI desktop where you can transform, shape and model data before you start designing reports. For this tutorial, we start from scratch by creating a report in Power BI service rather than through the desktop. We create a semantic model from a simple Microsoft Excel file that contains sample financial data. So you can open Power BI service in your browser. Then download the Excel file that has the financial sample data. The link has been provided in the description below. Then select My Workspace in the navigation pane. Then select New and then Semantic Model to initiate the import process. On the Add Data to Start Building a Report page, Select Excel and add financial sample data to start building a report. The Power BI service imports the sample data from the Excel file as a semantic model and opens the financial sample page. You can now use the sample semantic model to create reports and dashboards. On the financial sample semantic model page, at the top, select create a report, start from scratch to open the report editor. The Power BI service opens the new report in My Workspace. The report canvas is blank and shows the filters, visualizations and data panes. The new report opens in editing view. To view your report in progress, you can switch to the reading view at the top of the page. When you are ready to continue to working on your report, select edit. After you connect data to build a report, you are ready to start exploring. When you find an interesting item, you can save it on the report canvas. You can pin the item to a dashboard to monitor the data for changes over time. We can start by adding a column chart to the report in the editor to build a visualization of the data. In the data pane, select the arrow next to the financials heading to show the data items. Some data items have a sigma symbol next to the name. Power BI displays the sigma next to data that has numeric values. Under financials, select the gross sales data item and then select the date item. Power BI analyzes the selected data and creates a column chart visualization. One thing to note here is, if you select the date item before you select the gross sales item, Power BI creates a table rather than a column chart. If you selected the data items in this order, it's not a problem. We are going to change the visualization of the data in the next step. Let's try a different display of the selected data. Line charts are good visuals for showing changes in the values over time. In the visualizations pane, select line chart. The line chart looks interesting, so let's pin the visualization to a dashboard. When the report is new, you are prompted to save the report before you can pin the visualization to a dashboard. Enter a name for the report such as financial sample report and select save. Power BI saves the report to the selected location. The default is my workspace. Power BI shows the report in reading view. Position the mouse over the visualization and select the pin icon again. The pin to dashboard pop-up dialog opens. In the pop-up dialog, select New Dashboard and enter a name for the dashboard, such as Financial Sample Dashboard. Select PIN. 
Power BI displays a success message after the service adds the visualization to the dashboard. In the message dialog, select go to dashboard. After you pin a visualization, it's pinned on the dashboard as a tile. The data in the visualization stays up to date so you can track the latest value at a glance. After you pin a visualization, if you change the visualization type in the report, the pinned visualization on the dashboard doesn't change. To see the new visualization, pin it to the dashboard to create another tile. The use of multiple tiles lets you have more than one visualization of the same data on your dashboard. Now select the tile on the dashboard. The Power BI service returns you to the report editor where you can refine the visualization. You can select edit to return to editing view and continue to explore and pin tiles. For a quick exploration of your data, try asking a question in Q&A question box. Q&A lets you ask natural language queries about your data. In the Power BI service, you can find the Q&A question box in two places. On a dashboard, the ask a question about your data Q&A box is at the top of the tile view. In the report editor, the ask a question Q&A box is in the top menu bar. When you select the QA box, Power BI opens an extended view to help you ask questions and find the answers. Let's try out the Q&A experience for a dashboard. In Power BI service, select my workspace and then select your dashboard for the financial sample. At the top of the tile view, select ask a question about your data. The view expands and Q&A offers several suggestions. You can select a suggestion and see the results or enter your own question in the Q&A box. In the Q&A box, enter the question, what is the average sales? As you type, Q&A tries to pattern match your text entry for recognized questions. Q&A searches for an answer and displays the answer as a card visualization. At the top right, select the pin visual and pin the visualization to the financial sample dashboard. Try another question in the Q&A box. Enter total profit by country. Pin the country region map visualization to the financial sample dashboard. In the success dialog, select go to dashboard to view the newly pinned tiles on your dashboard. On the dashboard, select the pin country region map. Notice how the visualization opens in Q&A. Place the cursor after by country in the Q&A box and enter as bar. Power BI creates a bar chart with the results. Pin the bar chart to your financial sample dashboard. At the top, select exit Q&A to return to your dashboard. You now have four pinned tiles on your dashboard. Line chart, numeric average, country region map and bar chart. Pin different views of data with multiple tiles. Notice that although you change the map visualization to a bar chart in Q&A, the corresponding tile on the dashboard still shows a map. When you pin a tile to a dashboard, the tile always displays the data by using the original visualization type. If you change the visualization type for an existing tile, and pin the tile, the Power BI creates a new tile with the new visualization type. The original tile remains unchanged. The use of multiple tiles enables you to have more than one visualization of the same data on your dashboard. Now let's try adjusting the tile layout on the dashboard. Tiles on the dashboard can be rearranged and adjusted to make better use of the space. You can change tile sizes, reposition tiles and work with the tile details to improve the layout. Let's change the size of the gross sales line chart tile to be the same height as the average of sales tile. Select the lower right corner of the gross sales line chart tile and drag the tile outline upward to reduce the overall tile height. When the tile has the desired height, release the mouse. The two tiles are now of the same height. Now let's modify the tile details. Sometimes changing the tile details can improve the dashboard presentation. On the average sales tile, select more option and then edit detail. In the tile detail dialog, in the title, in the title box, enter sales average and select apply.
you can move the tiles and rearrange it based on your requirement and here is the final dashboard ready for you. So that is all in today's video. I hope this tutorial helped you understand how to create a Power BI report and dashboard in Power BI service. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more tutorials and tips on Power BI and Microsoft Fabric. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. If you have any questions or need further clarification, drop a comment below and I'll be happy to help. I would love to hear your suggestion for upcoming videos so please share your ideas in the comments. Thanks again for your support and I'll see you in the next video.